So this is our final meeting, everyone. Um, I don't have a lot to cover this week other than wrapping up what we've talked about in class. So I do hope you've come away from 190L with a bit more confidence in your searching abilities and that you recognize that research is a process that requires tenacity. From understanding that synonyms are a critical component of your search strategy to trying different and specialized databases, research can seem like a complex and fragmented process, but if you have the right tools, you can find just about anything. I also hope you feel a little bit more empowered either to conduct your own research, more effectively pursue your own interests, or participate in a community like Wikipedia. The internet is often referred to as the great equalizer, and it can be as long as we all work to make it so. You've spent a good portion of class reflecting on your own processes and on the different steps you take doing work and doing research. Reflection is an important and powerful part of any process. I hope you'll practice reflection throughout your life and your career. You've done a great many things in this class this semester, so take a moment to reflect and appreciate yourself. We've also talked a bit about failure. Failure is a fine and good thing, and it happens often in research. It's okay to talk about your frustrations and failures because those are excellent ways to help us learn. Our failures are part of our road to success. You have a great resource in your peers. I've been really impressed all semester that so many of you have offered suggestions and encouragement to your fellow classmates. This is true in all things. Your peers are resources after you graduate, when you start your career, when you travel, or in any activity. Everyone perceives the world differently, we all learn differently, and we all remember details differently. So maybe the next time you're stuck or you don't understand something, you check in with a friend. You might be surprised at what you learn. Plus, teaching is a very powerful way to demonstrate your understanding of a topic. Building off of that, do remember we are all always learning. Even though I'm your professor, I don't know everything there is to know about everything. And really, no one person can know everything. So be kind to yourself and your friends. Again, we're all learning and we can all help one another be better. All right, my final tips um, as you go out and learn about the world around you. So remember to learn about your tools. Every tool is built a little bit differently from library catalogs to library databases to search engines. Knowing how a tool works will benefit you immensely. Taking those few extra moments to understand the nuances of a database is a great skill for your academic career as well as your life. Take a few moments to evaluate your sources. Who authored it? Where's it coming from? Who's funding the research? Who's backing that website? Or what's their bias? Determining some of these hidden qualities of a resource, or even some posts you see on Facebook or Tumblr or somewhere else on the web, help us be better searchers and help make our world a little bit better and a little bit more informed. Copyright and plagiarism are taken extremely seriously. You do have some great tools under your belt to help you navigate scholarship and the web, Keep practicing and be vigilant. Finally, ask for help. Your peers are, again, excellent resources, but so are your friends, so are your professors, as well as librarians. We're all here to help you be the best you can be. So that's all for this week. Um, and for demystifying library research, thank you for joining me, and happy searching.